Welcome to the pistachio production video, which will provide an overview of growing, harvesting, packing, and holding practices. There are some common practices that many large commercial growers use when producing pistachios, and though there are variations in these practices, having an understanding of the most common methods used will be helpful when carrying out regulatory activities. After watching this video, you will be able to list several varieties of commercially produced pistachios. List the top producing regions in the U.S. for pistachio production and identify the most common farming practices used in the production of pistachios. Many cultivars or varieties of pistachios are grown commercially. However, Kerman is the most common female cultivar and Peters is the predominant pollinating male cultivar. The United States is the world's leading producer of pistachios, accounting for approximately 40% of world production. Commercial U.S. pistachio production takes place almost exclusively in the San Joaquin and Sacramento Valley regions of California. Each year, California growers produce nearly 300,000 tons of pistachios. Pistachios are also produced in Arizona and New Mexico, but to a much lesser extent. Pistachios thrive in deep, uniform loam soils consisting of clay, sand, and humus, or other organic material. This type of soil is sufficiently permeable while being able to adequately hold moisture. When preparing to plant a new orchard, growers cultivate the soil to loosen clods and grade the orchard. It is common practice to use a chisel attachment to dig deep down and break up any hard pan below the soil surface to help newly planted trees establish a deep root system Specialized equipment is used to form raised beds or individual mounds that trees will be planted on. Irrigation lines are installed. Pistachio trees start as grafted transplants. The grafts are started on a rootstock system that is best suited for the orchard site. Rootstocks are selected based on which is hardier and more resistant to pest infestations. Pistachio trees are alternate bearing meaning that an entire tree alternates between a high production year followed by a year of low production. Both male and female pistachio trees are required for pistachio production, and usually one male tree is planted for every 8 to 24 female trees. Young pistachio trees take 5 to 6 years to produce nuts. California pistachio orchards can last for 70 to 100 years, as long as the trees are cared for properly. Most trees will reach maximum production levels around 20 years and will continue to produce at this high rate for many seasons. The pistachio growing season begins in late March when buds formed the previous summer begin to swell. Blossoms open in April. Pistachio trees can be successfully wind pollinated, unlike other fruit and nut trees that require honeybee pollination. During May, the shells expand inside the hull. By June, when the shells have reached full size, they begin to harden and completely fill with the nut by July. As the nut enlarges, it causes the shell to split naturally. Young pistachio trees require sizable water consumption, about 50 gallons of water per tree per day from late July to late August. Much of this water is administered by drip irrigation. Most newer pistachio orchards use micro-irrigation systems, which allow growers to more precisely control the quantity and timing of orchard irrigation. The frequency of water application during the growing season depends on the age of the orchard, the levels of precipitation in the region, and other weather conditions. Pistachio shell splitting is particularly sensitive to irrigation deficits. Growers carefully maintain soil moisture levels to maximize shell splitting, while ensuring the orchard rows will be dry enough to support harvest equipment. Growers gauge the need for various fertilizers through soil and leaf analysis throughout the year. Fertilizers are typically applied to the root zone when the tree is able to use it efficiently. 
Fertilization of trees may be done in the winter while the trees lay dormant or in the late spring after the foliage of the tree has developed and the fruit is beginning to grow. Common elements needed include nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are applied in varying proportions depending on element availability in the soil. Orchards are tended all year round to ensure the health of the trees. Weeds are removed, trees are pruned and sprayed to help manage pests and disease that can damage trees and affect crops. Selection of specific rootstock that is resistant to certain types of pests can reduce susceptibility of trees and reduce the need for certain pesticide applications. Pistachios are harvested starting in late August or early September. The crop is ready for harvest when the shells begin to split and the hull, the protective covering over the shell, removes easily when pinched. Pistachios are harvested by mechanically shaking the trees. Pistachios fall into a V-shaped catch frame. The harvested nuts are then collected on a conveyor belt and transferred to a plastic bin or directly into a gondola trailer. Pistachios are subject to shell staining if they remain on the tree too long or if the hulls remain in contact with the shells for an extended time period after harvest. Because of this, the industry concentrates its harvesting efforts around the clock for six to eight weeks during the harvest season. Although hulling can take place in the field, most growers transport harvested pistachios to a contract processor to have the hulls removed and the nuts stored. At the processor, nuts are unloaded from trailers and field materials such as branches, leaves, and twigs are removed. Next, hulls are removed using an abrasive peeler. Water is used to aid in the removal of the hull. Following hull removal, pistachios are conveyed to a float tank where blank shells are separated from shells containing nuts. Good quality nuts will sink and are moved out of the float tank to a heated dryer. The nuts are dried to a moisture level of between 12 and 13 percent. Once pistachios have been hulled, they are moved to a silo to complete the drying process. The nuts will remain in the silos until they reach a moisture level of 4 to 6 percent. The nuts may be fumigated in the silo to protect the crop from insect damage. After drying, pistachios may be subject to a mechanical process whereby nuts are separated. This separation process involves nuts entering a drum containing slender needles. The rotating drum captures nuts that have already split while the closed shell nuts pass through the drum. Naturally split shells command a premium and are graded on size and shell color. Non-split shells are mechanically cracked and the meats are separated from the shells. After pistachios are separated into bins, the bins are stored at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit until the nuts are ready to be packaged. The agricultural practices depicted in this video are common on most large commercial farms like those found in California. There are undoubtedly variations in these practices depending on the region, operation size, and the individual grower's preference. This is especially true of farms outside of the U.S. Having a basic understanding of the way pistachios are grown, harvested, sorted, dried, and packed will provide you with background information that will be helpful when completing regulatory inspections or investigations in the field.